Hi, metallic bonding. Metals are on the left of the periodic table, which means they want to lose electrons to get full outer shells. Metals are on the left of the periodic table, which means they want to lose electrons to get full outer shells. Now, lithium has three protons in its nucleus and four neutrons, and it's orbited by three electrons. Two in the first shell, one in the second shell. Now, this one outer electron, lithium wants to get rid of that so it can have a nice stable standing wave pattern of its inner shell of two electrons. So it wants to lose its outer electron and become a lithium ion. Why is it an iron? Well, because it's got a charge now. If it loses one negative charge, it's left with two negative charges for the electrons and three positive charges in the nucleus, which gives it an overall charge of plus one. So it's a lithium plus ion. Now, metals form a lattice of positive ions surrounded by a free sea of electrons. Now, I can't stress enough how important that sentence is. That will count for getting on for six marks in physics and six marks in chemistry. So, metals form a lattice of positive ions surrounded by a free sea of electrons. So, here we have the structure of lithium. It's a lattice, a regular arrangement of lithium ions surrounded by a random and freely moving sea of electrons. These are the electrons that the lithium atoms have given up to become ions. So this lithium has given up one electron, this lithium has given up one electron, this lithium has given up one electron, and so on. And these electrons form a free sea of electrons which bind the lattice together because the positive lattice ions are attracted to the negative electrons, the negative electrons are attracted to the positive ions, and this binds the metal together. But these electrons are free to move through the metal, and this is how metals are able to conduct electricity. So once again, metals form a lattice of positive ions surrounded by a free sea of electrons. These electrons are free to move through the metal, and that is how metals are able to conduct electricity. And this is a very important diagram, the structure of lithium. The other metals have very similar structures.